Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. And a very special shout out to at Engage USA for his contribution of $20 or more to help support my channel. And just a quick reminder for you all, any super thanks above $20 Get you a video of your choice, and not only that, but it's uh, done at a priority over any project that I have going on. So it'll be first to post uh, above anything I'm doing. So keep that in mind. And with that, we'll get on with the video, which is the Great Western Railway of Great Britain, Cl City Class 440, City of Truro. Enjoy. The Great Western City Class 440s owe their fame to an occasion in May 1905 when a special mail train from Plymouth to Paddington descended the winding alignments of the Wellington Incline, which is just west of Taunton, and they did this at a very high speed. And on that trip, it just so happens that famous train timer and journalist Charles Rose Martin had been invited, and he recorded 102.3 miles an hour which is then a world record for steam in respect of an authentically and independently recorded occasion. However, a careful analysis of the timings at successful quarter mile posts had since suggested that the Roos Martin uh, mistook some other object for one of those posts and that the actual speed was a little less. Even so, the incident led to the preservation of its heroine, number 3717, City of Truro. The series was numbered originally from 3433 to 3442, and then renumbered to, uh, to th uh, 3710 to 3719. The Great Western Railway City class was comprised of 20 express passenger locomotives featuring the names of locations within the British Empire and or British cities served by the company. And this new class of locomotive was a rebuild of one of William Dean's double-framed Atborough class locomotives, number 3405 Mortius, and forgive me for butchering that, and that locomotive emerged from Swindon Works in September of 1902. The rebuilding was overseen by George Churchward, who succeeded Dean as locomotive superintendent. And this number 3405 locomotive became what was to become the city class. And as such, 10 new locomotives were built in 1903 which included the number 3440 City of Truro, while another nine Atborough class locomotives re were rebuilt in 1907. There was only 10 city class built proper, and all were built at the Great Western Railway's wor uh, works at Swindon, but a further 27 were created by rebuilding locomotives of the related Badminton and Atborough classes. They represent something of a stopgap, while the old GWR was making a huge and sudden leap forward from a locomotive uh, fleet that was old-fashioned for the 19th century to one that was far ahead of its time for the 20th. And as that transition was uh, occurring and in the meantime, this city series class of locomotives with inside cylinders and outside cranks as well both outside and inside frames but with up-to-date boilers was turned out. Starting in June of 1910, the class started receiving superheating boiler upgrades and that started with the number 3702, the Halifax. All of the class had been fitting with superheaters by 1912. Boiler feed was originally by clack valves fitted to the underside of the barrel. The top feed was introduced in 1912 and new cast iron chimneys in 1921. The slide valves were replaced by 8 inch semi plug piston valves from 1914. All the en engines were fitted with steam reversing gear, but only a few, including number 3716, City of London, had the gear replaced by the screw reverse. The Dean suspension bogey was replaced by a bogey developed from the type used on the Den Glen Atlantics. Four retained the, uh, the Dean bogies until withdrawal from service. And the mechanical layout of these locomotives, at least superficially, was very close to the earliest 440 Campbells of 1837 for the Philadelphia and Norristown Railroad in the United States. Very few builders, least of all those in the inventor's native land, had built any similar locomotives. But many had been built in the last decade of the century for the Great Western Railway, and those were 60 Duke class, 156 Bulldog class, 20 Flower class, and 40 Stella class, in addition to the City class and the mentioned conversions. The outside frame 440 was very much a trademark of the turn of the century Great Western Railway passenger locomotive fleet. 
On the whole, the city class were capable of very high speeds. In July of 1903, number 3433, City of Bath, was reported to have covered the 240 miles from London to Plymouth at an average speed of 63.2 miles an hour. Over the 90 miles between Langley and Bath, the average speed was 72 miles an hour with a top speed of 81 miles an hour at Chippenham. On another note, the Great Western Railway was the only major British railway to persist with the then archaic practice of double framing in the 20th century, continuing new construction until 1910 and technically building new examples from existing parts which were boilers and frames even as late as 1938 and 1939. There was one notable accident involving the city class locomotives when on August 8, 1913, Locomotive number 3710, the city of Bath, overran signals and was in a rear-end collision with a passenger train at Yeovil Penn Mill Station, Somerset. Two people were killed in that accident. Withdrawal of the city class began in 1927 when the 3718 city of Winchester was withdrawn on October 1927, the engine's working life being only just over 24 years. Regular withdrawal of the class began in August of the following year and by 1930 in July only two engines were left in service on the Great Western Railroad, these being the 3712 City of Bristol and the 3717 the City of Truro. 3717 was the first of the final two engines to be withdrawn as, as it was withdrawn in March of 1931 and 3712 followed two months later in May of that same year. Only one member of the class has survived scrapping, and that was the 3717 City of Trujillo, which is now owned by the National Railway Museum in York. It was last restored to full working order in 2004, and as of 2009 was frequently loaned for operation on UK mainlines and heritage railways. As of 2021, City of Trujillo is on static display. With that, the following specifications apply to England's Great Western Railways 440 city class locomotives. Total built the class is 20, 10 brand new and 10 rebuilt from Atbara class. The rebuilder was Swindon Works. The rebuild dates were 1902 to 1909. The wheel arrangement was 440. The locomotive weight was 55 long tons. The total weight was 92 long tons. The fuel type was coal. Fuel capacity was 5 tons. Water capacity was 36,000. Boilers were Great Western Railway standard number four. The cylinders were two inside. The cylinder, uh, cylinder size was 18 inch by 26 inches. The valve gear was Stevenson valve gears. The valve type were slide valves. They had steam lo uh, locomotive brakes and vacuum train brakes. The maximum speed was 100 miles an hour, slightly faster as we now know. The tractive effort was 17,800 pounds. The factor of adhesion was 8.50 is quite outstanding and as mentioned the class served until October of 1927. The disposition was one preserved and the remainder was scrapped. And that will wrap up this video and I shall thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content today please hit the like button and also if you've not subscribed please subscribe to the channel as both features help the channel grow enormously. And if you don't want to support the channel with the super thanks you can also go to our print shop at nickelplate limited and sd.com and support the channel in that way. And we thank you once again.